Most of us are used to highlighting certain rows in our data with a particular colour that's based on a specific criteria. In Excel 2003, it can be difficult to make sense of this information because it's in different places in the table. So often, we'll conduct a manual sorting or filtering exercise with the information. Some of us might go ahead and select all of the uncoloured cells. After we do this, we might right click to hide, displaying only the coloured rows that are left behind. Others might just select the rows that are coloured and move them into another location by copying or pasting and creating a new table altogether. This is undesirable because it takes your information out of its original context, away from your original information. Both of these methods are quite time consuming, requiring a number of individual steps to achieve a final result. Let's have a look at the filter and sort by colour options in Excel 2013. Using the insert table function on any of your data is a fantastic idea to identify the table. This places filter drop down handles at the top of each of your columns and manipulating the table will no longer disturb the rest of the information surrounding it. Use any of the filter drop down arrows at the top of your columns to sort and filter as you usually would or now you can also sort and filter by colour. You'll no longer spend time reorganising your tables or end up with confused data. And that's just one of the reasons that you should consider upgrading to Office 2013.